गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर न्यू एपिसोड आई एम शिवानी एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू ई क्रिश पॉट्स न्यू सीरीज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल इन दिस सीरीज सो फार वी हैव लर्न अबाउट इंडिया फर्स्ट फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इन 1817 एंड द रिबिलियन ऑफ 1857. नाउ इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू नो वॉट हैपन ऑफ द फेल्यूर ऑफ एटीन एंड द चेंजेस दैट टूक प्लेस विच लेड इंडिया टू द वे ऑफ फ्रीडम Consequent to the failures of revolt of 1857 rebellion one also saw the end of East India Company's rule in India and many important changes that took place in British government's policies toward India which sought to strengthen the British rule through winning over the Indian princes the chiefs and the landlords Queen Victoria proclamation of November 1, 1858 declared that thereafter India would be governed by and in the name of British monarch through a secretary of state Raja Ram Mohan Rai founded the Brahma Samaj in 1828 which aimed at purging the society of all its evil practices He worked for eradicating evils like sati, child marriage and the purdha system which championed widow marriage and women's education and favored the English system of education in India. It was through his effort that sati was declared a legal offense by the British. Swami Vivekananda, the disciple of Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, established the Ramakrishna Mission at Belur in India in 1897. He championed the supremacy of Vedantic philosophy. He stuck at Chicago, USA Conference of the World Religions in 1993 made the westerners realize the greatness of Hinduism for the first time. The foundations of Indian National Movement were led by Surendranath Banerjee with the formations of the Indian Association at Calcutta in 1876. The aim of the association was to represent the views of the educated middle class inspired the Indian community to take the value of united action. The birth of the Indian National Congress INC in 1885 marked the entry of the new educated middle class into the politics and transformed the Indian politic horizon. At the turn of the century The freedom movement reached out to the common unlettered man through the launching of the Swadeshi movement by the leaders such as Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Arbindo Ghosh. The Congress session at Calcutta in 1906 presided by Dada Bhabha Naroji gave a call for the attainment of Swaraj, a type of self-government elected by the people within the British dominion. As it prevailed in Canada and Australia, which were also the parts of British Empire. Meanwhile in 1909 the British government announced certain reforms in the structure of government in India which are known as Morley Minto reforms The discussed with the reforms in 1909 led to the intensification of the struggle for Swaraj Rowlatt Act was passed in 1919 which empowered the government to put people in jail without trial This caused widespread indignation led to massive demonstrations and hartels which the government repressed with brutal missiles like Jallianwala Bagh massacre where thousands of unarmed peaceful people were gunned down on the order of General Dyer Jallianwala Bagh massacre of April 13 1919 was one of the most inhuman acts of the British rulers in India the people of Punjab gathered on the auspicious day of Baisakhi at Jallianwala Bagh adjacent to the Golden Temple Amritsar to launch their protest peacefully against persecution by the British Indian government General Dyer appeared suddenly with his armed people forced and fired indiscriminately at innocent empty-handed people leaving hundreds of people dead including women and children At the First World War 1914-1918, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi became the undisputed leader of the Congress. During this struggle, Mahatma Gandhi had developed the novel technique of non-violent agitation which he called as Satyagraha, loosely translated as moral domination. 
Gandhi himself a devout Hindu also imposed a total moral philosophy of tolerance the brotherhood of all religions non violence such as ahimsa and simple living with these new leaders like jawaharlal nehru and subhash chandra bose also emerged on the scene and advocated the adoption of complete independence as the goal of the national movement later the non cooperation movement was pitched in under the leadership of mahatma gandhi and the indian national congress from september 1920 to february 1922 marking a new awakening in the indian independence movement after a series of events including the jallian wala bag massacre gandhi ji realized that there was no prospect of getting any fair treatment at the hands of the british so he planned to withdraw the nation's cooperation from the british government thus launching the non cooperation movement and thereby marrying the administrative setup of the country this movement was a great success as it got massive encouragement from millions of indians this movement almost shook the british authorities so this is all about today's episode we will meet in the next episode how these movements led to india to freedom until then stay tuned to ikrish pods Follow us for more updates. Goodbye. See you in the next time.